going to make a creative space for a doll using a recycled cereal box, cardboard, scrapbook paper, paint, fabric, clear plastic from packaging, extra paperboard, popsicle sticks or skinny sticks, and glue. I start by cutting down one side of the cereal box so it can open up. I remove the tabs at the top, cut another piece of paperboard to use as a wall extension. Using a ruler, I draw a line going all the way around the edge, making a border, cut to remove the center, glue on extra paperboard to make it stronger. I have a total of three layers. Cover the inside edges with paper, place it on top of the box, glue scrap of paper over the edge to connect the wall. Continue covering the rest of the box with paper. I chose to cover my walls with a light gray. I used a wood print on the floor and a white trim. Cut clear plastic from packaging to glue over the window. Cover strips of cardboard with paper. Cut and glue strips of paper over the plastic. Glue the cardboard around the edge. Cover extra paperboard with scrap of paper. Add an extension if needed to make the floor and finish the room. Now let's decorate. Cut skinny sticks to make the letter A. Make four. Use a long skinny stick to connect two at the top. Use a small piece to attach them together. I attach them in the middle and at the top on both sides. Cut and glue together layers of paperboard. Paint them. Glue the top onto the base. We made a chair from our doll beach house table and chair set video. Brushed it with a little paint to make a desk and chair. Cover a piece of cardboard with paper. Glue it into the box for a shelf. Make more, then glue them together to make a rectangle. Glue more cardboard inside to make a shelving unit. And when creating the furniture, I make sure to measure it so that all pieces can fit neatly inside the box. Now let's add the details. Paint the inside of small glitter jars. Make a paintbrush from our doll art classroom video for some colorful art supplies. We can use printables from our doll caddy video for bottles of paint. We use one of our dollhouse paintings as a work of art. Cut and fold seven by six inch pieces of fabric to make stacks of fabric. We can even wrap the fabric around jumbo popsicle sticks like we did for our doll general store. Make loops of embroidery floss. Wrap and glue a small piece of paper around it for doll size yarn. Take a piece of paperboard, glue on a textured piece of scrapbook paper, glue popsicle sticks around the edges, wrap ribbon around a toothpick, glue cut pieces of popsicle sticks on the end, then glue it onto the board. Glue a popsicle stick above, cut a Q-tip, punch holes on cardstock and glue them onto the ends, wrap it with thread to make miniature spools of thread. Glue on another popsicle stick to hold glitter jars of beads. Glue on cut toothpicks to hold charms and buttons that are shaped like scissors. Add a few cut pieces of fabric, cut, sand, and paint toothpicks to make pencils. Place them in a glitter jar and glue it onto the board. Attach the board to the back wall. We cut the sample pictures from a book of scrapbook paper to make doll-sized scrapbook paper. We found a pencil sharpener that is shaped like an old-fashioned sewing machine. We add a crocheted ottoman so the dolls can look out the window and think of what to create. And you're done. Happy crafting! To the Midnight Radio Listen to the Midnight Radio We can drive through the night Sing along to the Midnight Radio Don't wanna wait all my life Can't remain, no delay Gotta let it go A Want to give a shout out to Ellie in PJs. What's up? I am in the craft room 
ready to create something fabulous. Now what should I make? Ooh, I know, a pair of jeans. Or a sweater. I could make a purse, an oven mitt. House, pizza place, airport, common room at Frogwarts? Ah, uh, too many choices. So little time. I got it, a gas station. No, a fairy garden, yeah! Oh, better yet, treehouse number two. Or treehouse number three. Treehouse number four? Oh, I can't decide. Ha ha ha!